we will call a surprise guest after pick is made. After pick is made. Or did you already? You already? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now. <laughs> Fucking superstar, Super Bowl champion, the landlord, Honey Badger. Ladies and gentlemen, tired. Yeah! No, what up, dude? I did not know you were on. I apologize. How long were you nah, sitting there? it's all good. Nah, a couple seconds. It's all good. Jeez. I do not want to waste your time. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our first time getting to chat. You're the fucking man, dude. Yeah! Appreciate it, man. You, you are the man. Nah, it's a pleasure. Uh, Thanks for having me, man. No problem. Your team is obviously a team that is stacked. Now, I know that you were a massive part of turning that defense around whenever you showed up. It was an entire attitude adjustment, it felt like, on the defensive side. Then the run, that magnificent run to the Super Bowl, and you guys do your thing. They keep everybody in there. How does it feel to know you're on a team that will do whatever to win, especially watching, like, the draft tonight where everybody's trying to get, like, the Chiefs? It feels like the team you're on right now will do whatever to win. That has to feel very good. No, nah, it's, a, it's a great feeling, man. Uh, and to really be honest with you, you know, we got coaches that, that really put it all on the line. You know, like we could actually see these guys work day to day, you know, trying to make it all work. You know what I mean? And, you know, we got a lot of characters on our team. We got a lot of personalities. And to have that consistency, you know, uh, where guys just want to show up and win, um, I think it makes like, you know, management uh, coaches job, you know, a lot easier. How quickly upon arrival in Kansas City did you realize, that, hey, this place – is special and it can be special. I know you added a ton to that team and the defense and your leadership is a big reason they are, but was the culture already set in place and ready for you guys? I believe so, uh, especially, you know, I think a lot of people look at our team and they, and they obviously see the offense, right, and Coach Reed and, you know, everything he does. But, you know, when I got here, it was really Coach Spags that was, you know, more so hands-on with me, you know, in the defense. And, you know, just his detail to information and, you know, the rest of his coaches just keeping us up with, you know, certain nuggets and certain things that could, could really help us get better, you know, week to week as a defense. Um, I think those little things and just having certain people in the right places uh, is really what kind of, you know, put us over the top, you know, as far as, you know, a, a franchise. Tyron, everybody remembers, and I keep, I, I'm literally, I'm talk, you're, I'm one of your biggest fans. OK, Thank like you. I am one of your biggest <laughs> fans. I, I legitimately you don't have to lie right here. This is legit. because <laughs> I uh, I have been a vitamin lover for a long time. OK. And then whenever I heard your story, whenever you were at LSU, watching you play football at LSU was fucking unbelievable. I mean, it was unbelievable watching you play football. Clear best football player in the draft. It was very obvious. You get into obviously there are some things that happen uh, with other uh, drug tests and everything like that. Do you feel like you needed that all to happen to get where you are, uh, or or do you look back on the whole draft and that whole experience and think to yourself like I still think it shouldn't have went down that way? And do you ever think about that at this point with where uh, with how far you've come dominant wise? I mean, obviously, you know, some days I regret you know not being the top five pick, you know, and really going through what I went through. Uh, but I think for me personally, in my, in my experiences, everything I've been through, I think I needed it, you know, especially before I got to the NFL, right? You see so many guys struggle in their second, their third, their fourth year, and they can't really put together a good career. And so for me, I was kind of lucky to kind of get the realization, you know, before I actually got to my dream, you know? So it kind of made me appreciate it more, you know, when I was drafted. I didn't even care when they drafted me, <laughs> you know? I was... I was going to be ready to roll. Bruce Arians was like, uh, ain't no way we're letting this motherfucker go. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's going to draft this dude. Okay, we should be the people that drafted. I absolutely yeah. love that. Do you still keep in touch with B.A. at all? And how was that, yeah. you know, Super Bowl-wise? It's back like practice days, I'd assume, where he's shit-talking in this entire thing. Yeah, nah, I mean, all those guys are my guys. You know, not just B.A., you know, uh, Coach Rapone, Ty Bowles, Kevin Ross, all these guys were, like, instrumental, you know, really try to be – father figures for me, you know, as a 20-year-old 20, 20 kid. I was 20 years old when I got drafted. So to be around good, genuine men that, you know, not only they're good football guys, but, you know, they also do things in the community, you know. So for me, it was the right place. It was the right kind of people. And, you know, to kind of see B.A. have this success, you know, even though it came, you know, it, it still hurt, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but to yeah. be honest, man, to, to see B.A. win it, uh, to see Ty Bowles win it, you know, and, and just understand everything that those guys stand for. You know, I was actually happy for those guys. Okay, Tyron, I don't want to cut you off here, but the Eagles have traded with the Dallas Cowboys and the number 10 pick overall, Roger Goodell, our commissioner, Tyron, our commissioner, Roger Goodell. Devontae Smith goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about this. 
because now we got Waddle, Jamar Chase, and Devontae Smith in the top 10, okay? And I've heard that these younger wide receivers are like, they, they come out of their breaks better than any other young. Is that a real thing? Do you see like a new generation of route running coming out from these younger guys, and that's why we got three in the top 10 here? Yeah, absolutely. And I think really, I think Odell Beckham kind of like started it, right? Like he was kind of like the first guy to, to kind of show everybody like, hey, you could be spectacular, you know, if you put certain work in. So uh, to see these guys come out, you know, obviously I got to cover them. I got to chase them all around the field. So, you know, Jerry Judy's of the world, the Henry Ruggs, like all these guys are in my division. And, you know, they're all special talents. Um, it seems like they get better and better every year, though. <laughs> hey, are you trying to just fuck people up every single play? It feels like you are. <laughs> It feels like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I play defense. I love it, man. I used to be an offensive guy growing up. You know, my whole life I played offense. Uh, and uh, my, my sophomore year in high school, I, I switched to defense. And I've just been in love with it ever since, man. That's all she wrote. <laughs> it's all she wrote. Hey, what's it, what's it like uh, practicing against Pat Mahomes every day? Uh, I, I mean, I got to stay deep as the deepest, you know, for the most part. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't do as much of the things as I do, you know, on Sundays, you know, trying to jump routes and – read the quarterbacks because uh, he could just throw the ball from, like, any angle. You know, my coach hollering at me, yelling at me. But, I mean, obviously it's great competition. You know, not just Pat, though. You know, Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, you know, Clyde. You know, all these guys. You know, Nicole Hartman, even when we had Sammy Watkins. Uh, like, every every rep was, like, you know, a game rep. And I think that's what really, you know, put us in the position of really being, you know, two Super Bowls back-to-back. And even before I got here, you know, three championship games, you know, back-to-back. Iron sharpens iron. That's why I think you got to get depth, and your team is ahead of that. Uh, it seems like Tampa's getting on board and everything like that. Uh, we have an update. Chicago is trading up from number 20 to the Giants' turn at number 11. Another quarterback is about to go off the board. Andy Dalton was a Chicago Bear. He was told he's going to be the starter. Did they fucking lie to Andy Dalton? We are going to find out right now. One quick thing about Devontae Smith here, Tyron. And you, you, you mentioned, which, by the way, what should I call you? Mr. Matthew? Yeah, whatever. I got like six nicknames. It's all good. <laughs> so so Honey Badger still plays, yeah? Yeah, you know, most of the kids, that's what they know me by. They don't know they don't know Tyrant. They don't know anything else. They know Honey Badger. Okay, so let's yeah. let's promote the brand here. Okay, Honey Badger. <laughs> all right. So when you're Tyree Kill. Okay, and I think Darren Sproles kind of was the first in this whole thing, and then like kind of smaller size. But Tyreek is just a different. I mean, he he's a, a little bit shorter, but he's just a different. Devontae Smith, all they said was your size, your size is going to be a problem. As somebody who flies around on the defensive side of the ball, and you talk about these younger wide receivers, is it that big of a deal for a wide receiver to be undersized, or is it just like anybody can kind of make plays? It's kind of how football is played. Well, I think it really depends on, you know, how you play the game. You know, I think if you look at my career early on, you know, I was a lot more reckless, you know, as a youngster, you know, and I had a lot of injuries early on. You know, I think as my career unfolded, I learned how to play the game, you know, and um, I think this is calm, like assassin approach. Um, and I think Devontae is going to be great. Like, I don't think he plays the game in a reckless way. Uh, he reminds me of a, you know, very smart receiver. You know, he knows what certain windows are. He knows, you know, how to catch certain balls you know, and, and really, you know, shield his body in certain ways. Um, and I think that's going to help for him. It's going to take him a long way. Uh, we can't thank you enough for joining us. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs probably going to draft, it, it, not maybe not tonight, but at some point, somebody that runs a 4-1, that's a punt returner, <laughs> yep. and is also an incredible wide receiver that you're going to have to track in practice. Honey yeah. Badger, you're the absolute best, dude. Nothing but massive fans over here. And uh, continue it, success, brother. man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honey Badger time. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, he's, I'm a big, big fan of his. Remember, hey, LSU, dude. You remember him seven just flying around? Blocked the punt, grabbed the ball, scored a touchdown. He could do it all. I think it was against West Virginia.